Hello everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today what I'd like to do is to show you how to do some augmentation on the um, thermal expansion machines. So let's quickly go down to, this, to the workshop and let's have a look. What I've done here is I've actually put a, an item duct and a, and a chest underneath and what I want to show you here I've got this pulverizer and this pulverizer is now oh, sorry, a little augmentation yes it's now at the uh, resonant re level and I've added into here three um, secondary output so the gyro server feedback and they have um, three levels they have level one level two and level three and this means that it's going to give you an 81 percent chance on top of the normal percent chance of secondary output. So let's give a demonstration of that. Let's remove these first of all. Let's go and get some redstone ore. Don't have any with me at the moment, so let's just crumple over here. Redstone ore is here. So I shall take two 64s. One I shall do with the secondary output module enhanced, and the other one I'll do without it. So at the moment there's nothing in there, so what we'll do is we'll simply put this, I'll just check the chest of course, chest is empty. The reason I put the chest in there is because this generates about six times and I don't want to go and collect it all the time. And the colouring here is for the secondary output for the, um, if you look here I set it to orange underneath, so that basically means both these two will go out through the orange channel. So as you can see we should already have got some redstone and some cinnabar. Now the chance of uh, cinnabar from redstone in the pulverizer is 25%. So that's one quarter of 64, so that's around about 16 plus minus cinnabars that we should get. So let's go back over here and let's take this machine here, which is the uh, induction smelter. Let's remove it a bit. What I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to upgrade this induction smelter. So here we have it and let's do the usage of that one. So what you can do first of all is to make it to a hardened induction smelter which I think it already is and then the second one is to make it to a reinforced induction smelter and for that you need fused quartz or uh, hardened glass which we have plenty of and a signal gear signal gears are fairly straightforward let's just check what do we have here we have a hardened so in here maybe I have a signal gear no I don't let me just remove this I don't want to do that now do I have any signal yes I've got three signal ing ingots but I need more so let's have a look at the recipe for signal ingots it's signal blend that's cooked and that's three copper one redstone sorry one silver one destabilized redstone and that will give us four which is what we want so three copper dust which we probably have and one silver dust which we probably have and a bucket of redstone okay i've got some gold orb in here too because i was in the quarry and i went and had a look and we found some gold orbs so copper so we want one silver and three copper and one bucket of destabilized redstone. So let's take, we don't need that in there for the time being here. Yeah. Let's go over to my portable tank. And this has got destabilized redstone in it. So let's just click on right click. And you see the numbers have gone down to 15. And so I now have a bucket of destabilized redstone in my inventory. I come here. So that was one bucket of destabilized redstone, one silver, and three copper dust. So we have the signal blend here. So what we simply do there with that is we cook it. And actually we won't cook it there. What we'll do is we'll go upstairs and put it into the smelter. And here I've got the gear already set place from the last time. So let's just put this into the induction smelter. So while that's cooking, and when it is cooked, it will come down through here. Uh, no, it won't until I put the redstone clock in there. Let's put the redstone clock on that and it should come below that one. When it is ready, it will come downstairs into the chest. Actually, 
I have something in this chest too which is stopping the quarry. Let's just remove that. Get the quarry back again. Okay. Back running again, that's what I really meant to say. So here we are. So we're now waiting for the signal gear, aren't we? So let's go and have a look and see what's happened to this redstone if it's completed. Nope, it's got seven more to go. So we shall just actually wait for those seven more. And in here we have we should have six stacks of um, redstone and around about 16 cinema maybe plus minus one or two depending on our luck and you see it's nearly finished 46 52 how many have we got to go the last one i think now it's completed and we have in here 17 cinema so let's put all this over here and what we're going to do now is we're going to put into this uh, pulverizer in the augmentation tab we're going to put in these three levels of this one so this is level one they all need to be in you can't have just uh, level two or level three by itself it doesn't work at all so then i've got three levels and it says in fact requires the previous levels to be installed so this time we should get 45 percent of the uh, redstone so let's just see what happens and leave that to do its thing and i shall leave the so we should get around about 30 um, cinnabars. Actually, I'll leave, I'll leave these here so we know how many we had last time. I remember it. And we'll put the rest turn up here. Right, that's good. So what we're now waiting for was the, cinnabar, uh, the signal gear, which should come into one of these chests here. Ah, here we are. One signal gear. So, now... The recipe was, if I remember rightly, it was just like this, and then had four hardened glass around the corners. And here we have the induction smelter reinforced, and that gives you two augmentation slots. And the next level up is the uh, resonant. Where's it going to? So the recipe for that. Try again. The usage chain. So this is the resonant. So we need an endrum gear and four silver ingots okay so let's get the endrum gear going as well we've got plenty of endrum ingots and they're quite easy to make once you've uh, got everything you need and i've got plenty of what we need actually so let's go upstairs let's put that into the smelter as last time unless it do its thing and that should come down to one of the similar chests below so, what we were doing was this one here. So we now look at this chest, and you see already we have got. Actually, let's put that at the end here. How many have we got now? 37 done. So we're getting towards about half. We have nine. Okay, we leave that to run. And what we want is the signal is the end room gear. And you can see the quarry is busy pulling up lots of cobblestone. Let's go and check. It's probably to my it's not quite melted yet. How far has it gone? Oh, it should take quite a long time to for this one to actually smelt. Okay. Let's go back down so and wait for it. In the meantime let's have a look at what else we can do with the uh with those four in there what else we can do with the augmentation so if we look for augmentation here I'll take the caps lock off i don't need nothing do i and here we have the different augmentations for the for thermal expansion and what we can see here first of all this is, this is the the flux fuel efficiency so you can increase the fuel efficiency here we have the uh, what does this one do transmission coil dynamo output so that produce uses twice as much energy and it uses less base fuel I'm not quite sure I understand that one flux modulation booster secondary which we've been looking at and these are speed ones 
and that's great destroys the excess secondary outputs well we don't need that one do we what have we got here Returns furnished specialization increases food output by 50 and uses minus 50 percent energy and here we have some accelerator for the for the ignis extruder Yeah, we have still some more for, and you can see from each of the thermal expansion machines what you have so for example what we did is we built these Jaro servers and I've also built these uh, speed these are speed ones basically increases the speed by eight times four times what else have we got here that's fuel efficiency I've already built some of those so look what I've actually built. No, not that one, not this one. So here I've got this secondary output dynamo efficiency one, two, and three. And here we have some uh, speed outputs. What I don't have is the is the overclocker for the um, for the third level. So let's build that one, shall we? So the third level augmentation is this one and the recipe for that is two ender pearls which is fairly easy four gold ingots that's fairly straightforward and one gold as a redstone reception coil okay that's pretty straightforward too let's start with that one which one was that again that was the speed we need two ender pearls, we got millions of those, well not millions but quite a few. So what we'll do is switch up these and go and get the ender pearls from the, the chest. We need four. No, we need two. I could have actually taken ender fragments that you get from the small endermen. I'll show you what we do with those. We basically make a star and that produces ender pearls. And I think that's it's really it's only use actually that's not gonna do this in there. Let's do that in here, let's clear this one off. So we need five oops wrong. Put those in here and get rid of these. That's it. So then we can take one, two ender pearls. So back to the recipe here, which is two ender pearls, wasn't it? One here and one here. And we have the augmented space time flux unifier. So it's 150% more energy. Okay, what we're going to do, let's have a look, maybe the, the gears come in, not yet. Yes, here we have the end drum gear. So let's now upgrade this machine. So again, let's have a look at the recipe for that usage. So it's the third, second page. So four silver ingots and one endrum gear. Fairly straightforward. Have we got any silver ingots here? I don't see any, but I've got plenty here. This is silver, I think, yes, four of those. So I think they were in the corners. And so we now have a resident a resonant induction smelter. So we'll take that, we'll go to the chest here, and we'll take the two uh, speed augments and we'll put it back again. Unfortunately it's not going to be so easy to see how efficient this is in terms of speed. Let's put it there. Uh, but we'll put them in. But you now have three these three extra slots. So one. So what can we do with this? Let's make. A, I think that doesn't work. With this I think that's the alloy smelter, isn't it? Yes. Um, oh, I know. Let's take some diamonds. I've got some nether diamond all here. Let's make a few diamonds. That's four. So 
And if you remember rightly, the best recipe for this one. Try again. Usage. With, to use the induction smelter with rich lag. And that gives me three diamond ores. And then put the diamond ores into pulverizer and then we will get um, more diamonds. Uh, two for each one, so we get six diamonds for each ore. So we should end up with six times four, 24 diamonds. So let's have a go. So we needed rich lag, wasn't it? So rich lag we have plenty of. So we want four of those to match the same level. Come here. Let's put the rich leg and the diamond door in. And sure enough, that does look faster. Straight away done. Come over here to the induction smelter. And maybe that's now finished. And sure enough, we have 28 this time compared to the 17 last time. So we have quite an improvement. Let's do the, while we're here, let's just do the diamonds. These don't give any secondary output, so that doesn't matter very much. And of course the diamonds will be coming down into this chest here. So we should end up with 24. Okay, what else we? Let's put the redstone back and the ender pulse back as well for that matter. Let's double right click there. And the ender pulse can go through the oops, ender pouch, ender pouch, which is on the other one. On the other hot bar, I don't need the sign angles with me either. And the slag, which is also on the other hot bar. Control. I reprogrammed the hot bars for Control Zero. I thought it was more sensible than B, because B was a bit of a pain, because it it, it interfered with the map. And sure enough, 24 diamonds. So. I hope you enjoyed that and that concludes this short video. Bye for now, until next time.